Well, good morning. I've been up since like four. Too excited about the winter solstice. <laughs> Legitimately, I woke up at like four from like a really, the dream was fine, but it was, it was weird. So it was a dream about my like childhood home and I don't know, it was weird and it unsettled me. And so I was just up, I couldn't fall back asleep. I read a whole bunch of a book. I, you know, messed around on everything on the internet, like every app, everything I have on my phone. I read so many articles in the New York Times, like. So I'm up and making coffee. Of course, now it's like a normal hour to be up, 7.30, but whatever. So I've been texting with my brother and we're, we're talking about just like random stuff. But one thing I do think is interesting we were talking about while I wait on my coffee to brew, it's about to get loud here in a second. You know, where we live in Indiana, we're on the farther end of the Eastern time zone. And where he lives in Rhode Island, he's on the far end at the beginning of the Eastern time zone. So even though it's the same time where we live, he sent me a picture of him taking his dog out and it's like bright, you know what I mean? The sun has risen. And even though we're at the same time, because we're on the other end, it's dark. So I had sent him a picture of our backyard. I'm like, it's so dark. So it's just so wild that, you know, I, I know why that is obviously, but it took me until adulthood to realize that, man, when you're on the far end of a time zone, you kind of get screwed out of like light at like earlier hours. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess on the, uh, it'd be converse at the end of the day. But anyway, that is that. These are my deep morning thoughts on like five hours of sleep. But all of that talk about time zones and light and sun rising to say that the good news is I always look forward to the winter solstice. I genuinely do because winter can be crummy depending on where you live based on, you know, the days are short and it's cold and it can be dreary. But the one beautiful silver lining is that from today on, the days get longer and longer and longer because today is the shortest day of the year. So that is, I think, a really good silver lining. So I'm gonna use some of this morning time to refill this and put this out on the porch. It's one thing I can get done. And then honestly, I might just go ahead and start working or maybe even shower so I don't have to do it once Miss Genevieve wakes up. By the way, as I chat with you amidst the sounds of Pinocchio eating, <laughs> Update, we, we made eggs for Gigi. No, she did not like them. But speaking of eggs, I'm gonna make myself an egg sandwich. And I have these 100 calorie English muffins I love. And then an egg is I think around like 70 calories. Cause I, okay, listen, all night in bed, I was scrolling through all kinds of stuff and looking at like different food recipes. And I was like, you know what sounds good? Just a classic egg sandwich. Who Betty, so that is what I'm gonna make. I was gonna make one for Tyler because I'm sure he'll be up here pretty soon, but uh, he, I think, is gonna do his intermittent fasting this week still, so that means he won't be eating till, uh, I almost said noon. No, yeah, it is noon. Oh boy. Was that yummy, Mr. Waggly Tail? I don't think he'll like this coffee. So I grabbed one of my cookie cutters. I'm gonna try this, trying to make the egg a little more uniform since I'm putting it on like an English muffin, you know what I mean? I'm just curious if it'll work or not. I'm not totally certain. I'm assuming these are okay to put in heat. I guess we're gonna find out. But one of my favorite things to have on an egg sandwich is tomato and a little bit of mayonnaise and it is just chef's kiss, amazing. Well, I can't quite get this off of there so I might have to stab it out. Oh boy, I guess I should have sprayed this, you know? Well. <laughs> It's a little smaller than it would have been, I guess, without it, but I'm sure, I'm almost positive they sell one specifically for eggs, so I might need to uh, look into that. But here we are. I am super pumped to eat this. Oh my gosh. Well, good morning. So I am gonna try and get a haircut today um, because I need one. And uh, I think I've talked about this before. The same woman has cut my hair since I was in like eighth grade and she always does such a good job. Hi Annie, if you're watching this, I doubt it, but if you are. I had to cancel an appointment with her a couple weeks ago and then she didn't have anything until like after Christmas. And so I'm like, I gotta get a haircut cause like it's so scraggly like around the edges and stuff. So I'm going to like a rando place down the street and hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's good. I mean, I'm just getting a trim, so it shouldn't be that bad, right? Also, I actually remember to wear my contacts, which I never do when I go get my hair cut, because then I take my glasses off so they can cut my hair, and then I put them back on, you know, to see at the end. I'm like, I'm trying to see it in the mirror. I'm like, yeah, it looks pretty good. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> all right, haircut done. Very happy. Now, I'm gonna go to Costco. Okay, so we're at my parents' house, because they're watching Miss Shiji, and she's eating some breakfast they made for her. And uh, my mom and dad were telling me about this honey roasted nut mix. Where was it from, mama? Costco. Costco. And I need this. We were just eating it. You guys have killed this thing, haven't you? Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not too sweet. 
Don't you think? It's, it's not, not like overly sweet. It's not too salty either. Just yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just right. The Goldilocks of nuts. It's too right. It's just right. <laughs> yeah, they're so good. So highly recommend. <laughs> okay, my dad's going to be the motor. Look how cute this thing my parents made. Well, I'm assuming my mom. <laughs> No offense, Dad, but I know you didn't make this. It, but, <laughs> but Mom, did you say some of these are real that you just yeah, got out from, from the outside? Tree. Oh, from the tree. I cut it from the bottom. <laughs> How cute! Yeah. I need to do something like this. That is adorable. We'll have the, the, thing. the basket. Yeah, you usually have fruit in it, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh no, bring me that toy. He won't bring a heel. He's loving this. Is the Snoopy toy he got with his bark box this month? Bunnock. Ready, ready, ready? Okay. Come here, slippery paws. Whoa! All right, I know you guys are proud of me. I'm working out earlier in the day instead of at the very end of my work day because, uh, I don't know, I just feel like switching it up a little bit and plus I wanna shower and get ready <laughs> and wash my hair uh, after this instead of like before because that's always, and that ends up being how it is. I end up showering, getting ready for the day and then hours later at the end of the work day, I work out and get all sweaty and gross. So doing it the other way, working smarter. I'm saying this now, we'll see how long this lasts, but I, uh, I'm gonna do like a fun cardio video. And geez, Tyler's like arm pull, pull up thing. I hope I didn't break it. I think we're okay. <laughs> Anyway, I've got a lot of work to do since it was one of those days where I was out of the office this morning because I was getting a haircut and then I went to Costco. Um, now I am just going to, I made myself a big salad here and I'm going to try and do a working lunch. Um, I've got some emails to answer. I've got some phone calls to make. Uh, and then I need to try and edit Vlogmas and then work out before I go leave to go pick up Gigi around 4.30. So that's like two and a half hours from now. Also, I haven't eaten today, so I'm very excited about this salad. So hopefully I can get all that done in the next two and a half hours. Let's go, set the clock. <laughs> so I just cracked open a brand new mascara. This is one of my favorites and I haven't had it in a long time. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. Because my hourglass unlocked, I feel like it's finally donezo. I actually have, whoops, repurchased this as well. But I wanted to open this one up and use this one and then go back to the hourglass because I really do love it. They're very different mascaras. The wands are totally different. Let me show you. So the one here on the right is the Charlotte Tilbury and then the left is the hourglass. The hourglass one's a tubing mascara, which is nice because it doesn't smudge or anything. The Charlotte Tilbury is just a standard mascara, but it adds a lot of volume and it just, I feel like gives me Bambi lashes. Whoa, way too bright over there. So I have the uh, Charlotte Tilbury on now and I just feel like it curls them really nicely and I don't know, I just like it. I do remember when I tried it in the past, it was so much better after about a week of being open. So that's just something to keep in mind. And it's definitely a little bit messier of a mascara. And what I mean by that is it's like a, I don't even want to say, it's super wet because again, I feel like after a week it dries down perfectly, but just that it's kind of the brush, it just gets a lot of product on it. So it's just something to be aware of, but I really, really like it too. I bought that one on sale, same with the hourglass because I just can't buy either of those full price. They're just ridiculously priced. Gigi, what are you playing with? Is it stickers? Okay, I'm filming this on my iPad, which I've never done before, so. It looks weird seeing you hold it up. <laughs> uh, I'm just making coffee. I told Tyler because I'm not tired. No, <laughs> because Sorry. I'm beyond You're tired. You're proving your own point there. I uh, this is actually only my second cup of coffee, but um, I'm about to go film a declutter video. And I'm super pumped. But I've just been like in one of those moods. It's not even a funk because I feel like fine. Like I don't feel like kind of moody and. But I'm just like, I don't really feel like vlogging. I don't really feel like doing anything, but I've got to work and I need to vlog. I don't mind vlogging, guys. Don't worry about me. But you just, it's like anything, doing anything today is rough. Sounds awful. Yeah. Yeah. Just having one of those days. So and it's weird. I actually this, slept yeah. a lot last night, yeah. but I, I, maybe I overslept. It's like I, my favorite <laughs> thing I always talk expecting. about. Uh-uh, it's the solstice, baby. I think, oh. <laughs> I think, no, I think it's like making us weird. Yeah. And I don't know, but the two planets that are like super close, I think it's Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Oh, yes. Yeah, something like that. Everything's just like. Yeah, I'm excited. And I think they said like right after 6 p.m. tonight is going to be like what it's. It's tonight? I was thinking it was last night we missed it. And I, I think it's tonight. Because... We should double check. But yeah. awesome. Okay, a couple things. We need a new <laughs> silicone mat. So I wanted to try the OXO ones because we just love OXO. Yeah. Um, so got those. But 
this Silpat thing. Silpat, I think, is like one of the original silicone mat brands, and they're really expensive. But they sell basically what I think is just like a slap bracelet. Yeah. And you can put it around to store your uh, silicone mat. Yeah, because we just we up. roll ours up and put them in the drawer. And just but... like wedge it in so that it doesn't unroll, but it'll still unroll, and it's always driven me crazy. A big part of the reason we got the OXO ones instead of the ones we have, because the ones we've had, we keep buying at Costco, and obviously they work, but they just they wear out, and they're starting to we like use the them plastic like... is starting to wear yeah. away to the point where it's or the silicone where it's now like uh, you can see the mesh and you can feel the mesh. They're dishwasher safe. I can't believe that. And that, that is a big, that is a big deal. So I am, I'm actually super pumped to try that. Yay. All right. So also another thing to bring up, this is weird to film on the iPad. Right, I think I, I, really far back. I've never I think I hate it. Also it looks a <laughs> also, little blurry. Also we're just being lazy because our, our phones, phones are, are all upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> we didn't even go upstairs and that happened to be sitting there. Also that's just fun to try. Yeah. So. We have a. We might have a mouse problem. <laughs> we definitely do. Okay, hold on. Let me show you evidence A. This is the second box that this has happened to, and it's always the same thing. Look at that. Now, the other thing is they've gotten into some things, and we saw, like, little crackers they'd spilled out. And, like, I'm like, it's yeah. definitely. So you deep cleaned I said, that. I, deep, I we pulled were, everything yeah. out and cleaned it. Uh, Thank we, you. I cannot figure out where they're getting into I feel like I'm house. way too close to you. Yeah, I know. you got to kind of stay <laughs> I cannot figure out where they're coming from. I don't see, like, any... You know, cartoon Teeny, tiny nozzles holes. is basically all I'm looking for. Commentary <laughs> style. I don't know what that is. I, so, I think in real life they really are pretty small. Yeah, like, so I mean, I, yeah, I can't. I haven't found it yet. But obviously, I'm. I don't want to kill them because no, it's Mickey I, Mouse yeah. and Minnie Mouse. I don't kill them. <laughs> and so I was looking up humane things, and some people say they don't work at all. Some people say they completely solve their problems. But what? The, so they should be here tomorrow. I bought these like scent sachet things that are Uncle. I'm Gus all about or a good scent sachet. Grandpa Barry, or I don't know. <laughs> Your friend Trevor, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll figure out the brand. Trevor the Toad. Out. But they're they're these little scent things. Apparently, they're really strong. And the people said it smells like Christmas. I'm like, well, that's appropriate for right now, anyway. Um, but they said you put them in a pantry or in a closet or something like that. They uh, will get rid of the mouse because it'll be too overpowering for the mouse, and they won't go in there anymore. So I've noticed it in any of you our like other diving right into or, a candle. No, it's only been in uh, there, and it's usually only. And the I, cracker boxes. Yeah, so luckily so. we have a lot. I mean, I guess I never really realized it, but a lot of those things are totally safe. And there's, you know. I was, my original plan, because I'd heard before that the audible ones work well. Like if you plug it in, it has like ultrasonic sound or something like that and you can't hear it. But apparently dogs and cats can sometimes hear it. So I'm like, well, we can't use that. So we, we no, can only no. go the Pinocchio's the floppy eels so won't be able to handle so that. So we're going to try that. And hopefully we'll let you know how it goes. That solves our problem. <laughs> So today what I'm decluttering are my concealers. I desperately need to go through these. So I'm really excited to take these out and go through them. I'm just in the mood to declutter. Which is great because frankly, like I was saying, I really am not in the mood to do anything. So I'm pushing my way through as we all do. You know, we all have days like this. Um, but at least it's something I like really enjoy is just sitting down, chilling and decluttering. So yay. <laughs> So a little behind the scenes, if you're ever curious, anytime I just have like a bunch of products like in a thumbnail, I usually just take it on my phone like this. And there's actually sunlight out suddenly today. <laughs> what? I'm sure it's going to set in like five minutes, but that's pretty much it. However, my little happy light is can shine a little bit of light on it too. So like if I needed a little bit more over here, I could get it, which is kind of... That's kind of cool. I guess it doesn't look that great that way. But anyway, that's all. If you're ever curious, it's like the easiest thing in the world. I just feel like natural light is the best. And if only I could have it at all times work exactly the way I need it to, I would never use fake lighting because it is. it just makes everything look so nice. Getting emotional. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I need to um, re-separate these. Luckily, I know what I got rid of <laughs> because uh, I had to put them back together to get this thumbnail. I guess I should have done it beforehand, but... Yeah, by the way, this coffee, this is that peppermint pinwheel Nespresso with half and half is awesome. Just awesome. Oh, I want to tell you guys about this lip product. I don't remember if I've ever told you guys about it, but it's this one from It Cosmetics. Maybe I did once before. The Pillow Lips Solid Serum. It looks a little wonky now because I've had it on for like an hour and have been drinking coffee. But it's this little like kind of lipstick, but it's more, it's got color to it, but it's a little bit more sheared out. And this particular shade for me is in Wistful and it is just lovely. It's super comfy. It's not like, it's comfortable, but it's not like gliding all around the lips. So I just have to say, 
I've been enjoying this the past month. Hair in my mouth. Going on a quick winter solstice walk before the sun sets on this, the shortest day of the year. Theme of my day. So going on a quick walk with Pinocchio because I needed to deliver, like hand deliver some Christmas cards to neighbors. So got that done, which is good. Also, it's chillier than I thought. Also, the sun's already setting really early. Okay, some miracle. I got all the work done I needed to today. So I got my inbox cleared out. I got all the phone calls made that I needed to. I, what else did I do? I got Vlogmas edited. All the things on my to-do list are done, which is pretty awesome, which gives me 30 minutes to do a workout. So I'm still gonna get a workout in today too, which is awesome. Uh, and then I'm gonna go pick Cheesy up. I might bring Pinocchio with me just so he can go in the car, which he would love. And then when we get home, I think Jessica's gonna make dinner and then we're gonna look at some of the Christmas lights in our neighborhood. We're gonna drive around and look at some of those. So I think that is going to be quite an enjoyable evening. All right, I got a 30 minute workout in, which is certainly better than nothing. Now I'm gonna go pick up Gigi. All right, there she blows. This is what we're making for dinner tonight. Gonna make it happen. It looks so yummy and it's literally just like white beans and then like some cheese and tomato paste and some garlic, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try to take some of Tyler's sourdough and just kind of like crisp it up like that because I feel like that'd be really good and then maybe do a side salad or something if I'm feeling real bougie, we'll see. <laughs> I can of course have this linked down in the description box if you want to make it yourself. I uh, am curious, I feel like it's either gonna be really good or really weird. You know what I mean? It's just gonna be one of those dishes. I'm really banking on really good. One thing I was thinking about though, calls for like tomato paste and garlic and you kind of fry it up in the pan, add some water and then add the beans. I feel like that's kind of like a low key tomato sauce, right? And I feel like I could just use ready-made tomato sauce in it. So I'm kind of thinking about cutting the corner already, but then I'm like, I feel like I should make it the real way first and then start to cut corners. <laughs> and I'm also just now realizing it also says you could use chickpeas instead. So I think I'm gonna do it with white beans because we have quite a few can <laughs> cans to use up. <laughs> I just started laughing because it makes me think of Tyler's bean rampage. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, white beans white beans to use up. So I'm going to do that this time. But if we like the flavors, I would totally try it with chickpeas because man, I freaking love garbanzo beans. But I, I think I'm going to prep everything and then we're going to go see the lights. I think Tyler already talked about it in our neighborhood, kind of drive around and see those. And then I'm going to come back and bake it because you literally bake it for like five to 10 minutes. It is so fast. All right, you caught me. I'm watching Home Alone 2. I'm finishing it because I didn't finish the other day. Have I ever showed you guys this like, hold on, let me pause it. Have I ever showed you guys this like terracotta garlic thing i do not remember where we got it but it is so perfect and we'll just keep our garlic in there just the couple cloves we typically have and it's just perfect and i think it is so cute i'll have to see what i can find online but i just i don't know i've never before we had this i never knew where how to store garlic and this is perfect this little garlic tool that i mentioned will peel your garlic for you i need to cut off some of the extra bits on here. These are getting a little old, but so I have one in here that still has the outer layer. You literally just put it in this silicone thing and you roll it like that. And then it comes out peeled. I know it's amazing. More oh. Christmas? More okay. Christmas? So we are driving around looking at Christmas lights and Gigi's got special snacks, which is really just Teddy Grahams and a cheese stick, but it's very fun. And we're gonna listen to some Christmas music. We've just gotten started. So it's, it's just nice. There's so many people in our neighborhood that like go all out and it is so much fun to look at. Okay, so I took Tyler's sourdough and I put some olive oil and I used like our little, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree, this little spreader, a silicone spreader to kind of spread the olive oil on both sides. And then I threw a little bit of garlic powder to kind of make impromptu garlic bread. And I'm just using our little Lodge cast iron, like, I don't know what you call it, ribbed grill pan. <laughs> That can't be what it's called. Anyway, uh, love this for this. And then I've got this mostly done. Like I said, I'll link it below. And I just need to put some cheese on top and then bake it for five to 10 minutes. And that is it. Okay, so I ended up baking it for probably 12 minutes. And then I put it under a broiler for like five. But I always keep a close eye because sometimes it'll burn in 30 seconds. Other times it'll last like five minutes and be fine but the cheese is nice and like crunchy on top, which I think is really, really nice. I am so intrigued to try this. Okay, this smells garlicky and cheesy and amazing. Vlogmas, um, day 21, <laughs> done. No. Bye. All right, I guess we can keep talking. And it is 21, because I just edited 20, which means the day is 21. Oh my gosh. I know. Uh, we just watched the Queen's Gambit episode three. Also, I don't know if I talked about it. I talked about it in yesterday's vlog that I went to Meyer 
Target, and now Costco, and none of them had gloves. <laughs> like just like regular, like winter gloves. Just like not even just about, like, like knit gloves, like just like thin gloves. No one has them. <laughs> they don't exist. Apparently, you some. bought. You got some. You can borrow uh, some of mine. I don't think my hands would fit. Look fancy. Um, you might be surprised. You know gloves. <laughs> and then Gigi's got gloves that are way gloves. too big on her. <laughs> also, did you um, write my my punny title? This is like right in my eye. I've got my glove to keep me warm, except I don't. Yes. Do you, you know that song? Right? I've got my love to keep me warm. Yeah, yeah I know that. Okay, song. I felt like it was kind of a. Off no, the I didn't think it's obscure. Like okay, there no. might be obviously not everyone's gonna know every song, but I didn't think it was like super. Just, just want to make sure. That was, I was funny. I was happy with it, but I was like, I don't know how many people you know put this love? song. Did you put the G in parentheses and then love? No, I was going to. And then I, I, you didn't need to. I, I mean, also put both the G and the L capital, but that didn't look right either. I'm like, eh, people will get like it or mistake. they won't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Gigi <laughs> fell asleep in like five seconds flat. Yeah. You gave her a bath. Oh, we haven't talked about the dinner. It was, it was pretty good. It was really it good. It was really good. And I don't think it'd be right with chickpeas. Yeah, think be, I think it'd be very different with chickpeas. Yeah. Um, and the but, amount of time you cook it, I feel like the chickpeas wouldn't quite be as soft as I think I'd want it with this. Yeah, but I also think know? that uh, the recipe was good, but the bread is what made it. You need a crusty, like you need you need good bread to like so make I will say this, the recipe. If you don't have like good bread, whether it's homemade or you like buy it at a bakery or like in the bakery section of the store, just take your own, you know, regular loaf of bread Put olive oil on both sides or even butter and then like garlic powder and then just pan fry it on each side. That was really good. It was so good. And we ended up literally pausing like 20 minutes into what we were watching and and toasting more of the bread because yeah. you had to have it to finish it. Like it was, it totally made Because otherwise so, it's just beans and uh, tomato paste. Well, and like a ton of cheese. Che you're right. But, I'm like, but it, it definitely with it that was, crunch, it really did you like need to seal it up. the deal. Really get zobble it up. Yeah, you're the king of like the bread and like put a bite on oh, each. Oh, I'm a, I'm a zobbler from the word go. Is zobbler a real thing? Oh yeah, you gotta zobble it up. Cool. Those who know know. Also, have you guys played with the Reface app? You have to like pay for it. So I've got like the free trial for like three days and then I'll cancel it. You know, so don't pay for it. But you just take a picture of your face. And they put it, you can put it into like different scenes in movies and stuff. It's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it's super fun. <laughs> so we did yeah. like, my brother and sister-in-law were the ones that were texting us their versions of stuff. They've got like Home Alone and like just all kinds of stuff. Deep and it fakes was, are insane. I haven't watched any of them creepy, yet. They're a little creepy, but it was fun. I haven't watched any of them yet because I was driving to pick her up and then driving oh, home. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I got home, there was have. like 38 text messages with, I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll watch them at some point. <laughs> it's fun. Totally try the recipe if you like beans. You will like it, but make sure you like toast some bread and stuff. But we'll see you tomorrow, day 22. We are so close to Christmas. We still have some gifts to wrap. Yep. And at some point, I need to wrap all of your gifts. I haven't wrapped yours either. I haven't wrapped a single one I meant to do it the other day, and I didn't. So <laughs> here we are. We got to find somebody who need to do that or sometime. Maybe when you go pick her up or something. I don't know. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yes, we're yeah. talking to ourselves at this point. And you yeah. guys are just flies on the wall. So we're going to end it there. That is all. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Little Gigi. <laughs> little sweet ball Gigi. See that one? It's the Paris Opera House with little short hair Gigi. Oh, shit. Oh, I love that girl so much. All right. Anyway. Anyway, we love you all. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.